Instagram, I'm Sean David Coburn at Transformation Church, where Pastor Andrew D. Hunt Jr. is our leader. Look, Pastor R. Whitford, Dr. Whitford, is preaching the church anniversary this morning. Don't touch that dial. Enjoy the program already in progress. Channel 36, RCN, Wild, and Comcast. And Channel 99 on AT&T. Don't touch that dial. Enjoy the program already in progress. This is Reverend Shining. God bless you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, we have a great man of God. And I'm going to introduce you to him. Amen. Before I read you his resume, he's here not because of his resume, although it is important. He's here because when I needed someone to talk to about 11 years ago, when I had to make a tough decision, he's my neighbor, he lives behind me. He sat down with me and talked with me and prayed with me and helped me to know that the decision that I had to make to leave my first location to this location was all right. I needed to know it was all right. God sent me someone right behind me that I never would have expected and never met until I moved on that block to be there for me. And I thank you for being God's wisdom and God's heart for me. And so I've been trying to figure out how to get him there because we don't have that many afternoon services. And I always like to give my pastor his props. Um, but once I heard that my pastor could not make it, um, I knew there was no better person, particularly for such a time as this, as we move into the new spot to preach for us today. And even, this is how God works. I was riding my bike. I've only rode my bike two times this year. I've been busy. I usually ride all the time. But the second time I was riding my bike, when all of this was happening, he was outside on the driveway. And I looked up, I said, Lord, okay, I guess I need to talk to him again about this next stop. And as he did before, he encouraged me again. He doesn't play, he keeps it real. He keeps it real. And so we appreciate him. I told you he's our neighbor. We appreciate his wife, Sister Winfrey. We're glad to see you here today. We just wave your hands so everybody can see you. We thank God for them. Thank God that God placed Pastor Winfrey behind my house. Amen. And what looked like it was just a move was the actual moving of the hand of God. But he comes prepared. He comes prepared. He has earned his Bachelor of Theology degree and Master of Theology degree and Doctorate of Theology from Andersonville Baptist Seminary of Camilla, Georgia. Um, he is the pastor of Pioneer Missionary Baptist Church in South Holland. He has been there since 1981. So he was a pastor worth me talking to. He had some experience. We thank God for that. He's been involved in civic, social, and religious endeavors. Um, he is a member and president of the South Holland Ministers Association served as moderator and member of the Union District Baptist Association of Chicago and vicinity. He's a former vice president of Christian education of the Progressive National Baptist Convention. He is a former field supervisor for the greatest seminary in the world, McCormick Theological Seminary. You ought to catch that later on. <laughs> he is a former president of the parent body of the Baptist State Convention of Illinois former Vice President of the Chicago Baptist Institute, former trustee board member and treasurer for Chicago Baptist Institute. He's been an instructor at the Chicago Baptist Institute and a board member of Chicago Citizen School Committee. A lifetime honored member of the Lexington Who's Who because of his demonstrated leadership and achievements, and he's an author of his first book that was published in 2013, Take No Thought. And so transforms, we said all that to say, on our last anniversary, we going out with a bang. We got somebody here to preach for us all today. We have one of those many pastors that I tell you about all the time. They're praying for us. They're supporting us behind the scenes. 
and we're glad to have you to the forefront today. The next voice you'll hear will be Dr. Preston Winfrey, the proud pastor of Pioneer Baptist Church of South Holland, Illinois. Church exempt, but you ain't gonna be trouble exempt. Right. 
and the trouble will find you, anxieties and panic. And this book, uh, it helps us to annihilate that giant that we've created for ourselves. You know, we can, we can be a mess, right? We can talk ourselves into a real mess and then we want the Lord to get us out. The Lord be waiting and saying, listen, you got yourself into that. And get on up out of there. And so let me present this to him. I thought, had I known how many was going to be here, I would have brought you each a copy so that you can purchase your own copy. He was his own house. This is on the house. Is that all right? Amen. But uh, you can get, you can see us later on. You can get one from him, the author, and we'd be so glad to uh, autograph that for you. Well, the Lord is so gracious and so kind, and I'm, I'm humbled at this request to come and share. I do not take pastoring and preaching lightly. Anytime that we're asked to do something, we are just too pleased to be able to do it. Now, I don't preach like you know, your pastor. I don't have one of those strong, booming voices. Uh, I can't play like the, the right Reverend Sean and Coleman. And can't pray like these deacons. And I certainly can't sing like that fellow with the booming, Perry, uh, what is it, Barry White voice. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Put him up right before I have to get up. And, you know, this is, I feel like the fella who went to the bank, he had a pistol, and he's going to rob the bank. And uh, he met one of those sister girl tellers. <laughs> she wasn't having a good day at all. And he stood there with his pistol, and she said, What you want? He was shaking. He said, this, 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 this is a mess up. This is a mess up. And so pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. The Lord may say something to you as you are in transition. And I'm aware of that. And I want to congratulate you on your move. And I want you to know that God is not through with you yet. He's not, he's not finished, uh, but when he does get through, somebody ought to come forth. Amen. Amen. As, as pure gold. Amen. 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 But know that you are a work in progress. Yes. And the yes. eyes have not seen, yes. the ears haven't heard, yes. neither has he entered the hearts of men the things that God hath prepared for those who love him. Is anybody here who just loved the Lord? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. God bless your heart. Turn with me to the Gospel of Luke. Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verse 22. Luke 8, 22. Reads like this. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples. And he said unto them, What? Let us go. The rest of y'all looking, looking for it. It's, it's in Luke. That's, that's the book right after uh, Mark. Do the math. Matthew, Mark, Luke. That's, that's the third book in the New Testament. Come, come on out of Genesis. They, they keep turning. They, uh, okay, Luke 8, 22. Let's read it together. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Someone by their hand, look at them if you can stand to look at them. If you, uh, you're scared to look at them, see if you find somebody else that you want to look at, you can touch. Some of y'all ain't touching them like yet. Who can be around if you want? Nobody look good to you. Look at yourself. Say these words. Let's go to the other side. Amen. Amen. Let 
let's go to the other side. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, the subject doesn't didn't say make you go. The let's go. Let the word let simply means that something within your control, something within your ability, something that you agree to do. Like folks who get married. You know, anybody here you know, shotgun marriages? <laughs> that, that wasn't no let's get married. That was you gonna get married. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now you may have felt like it afterwards. <laughs> Let's, let, let's go do something else. <laughs> but Luke, Dr. Luke, shares with us an interesting piece of history that took place between Jesus and the good folks of transfer. I mean, Jesus and his disciples. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I wish some of you smart people would tell me with transformation. <laughs> it means what? To change. It means to go to the other side. Ah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Going to the other side. Uh, I'm right. He, he, he speaks this perspective when Jesus commands his followers. You know, those who are really there, you know, because, you know, sometimes you can just have folk who just part of the game ain't in it. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Folk tell me, oh, I'm, now there's some folk tell me, I'm with you, and there's other folk tell me, I'm behind you. And then, you know, don't, don't you fall, because, honey, if you fall, they so far behind you, they gonna catch you. You need someone who is with you. And so Luke shares with us a conversation that Jesus has with some people who are with him. And with him, they, they had slept with him, they had eaten with him, they had watched him do miracle after miracle. They had reached a point where they said, I, I know him. Anybody here know him? You know, uh, you know, sometimes you get get a group of folk uh, who, who's religious. Uh, I ain't saying just religious. You know, go through the motions. You know? We, you know, we know where all the hallelujahs are. We know how to look like we are. Know how to gyrate. It, you know, it, it's just in us, we, honey. We we can we we can bump. You know the beat, you know. You can get a paraplegic, and you play the right music, honey. They'll be. So Jesus has these people who's with him. And so one day after all that he had done, you know, he had changed wine and water to wine. All right. You know, who, who would want a Jesus like that, right? <laughs> I know some folk don't even wait on Jesus. Change. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jesus, I got this one. <laughs> yeah, anybody with me here? I mean, I know Jesus ain't changed that. <laughs> and I'm all lined up. Okay, so. Here Jesus is. Uh, I'm going to tell my mother y'all laughing at me. I come over to your church and preach. And your mother's laughing at me. Shame on you all. <laughs> so they're with him. And 
He says to them who knew his history, let's go to the other side. Now, now, now they had to go to the other side because it's, it's obvious that what they had done on side A had been finished. Amen. How many of you know that it, it's necessary for you to know when to move on? See, sometimes we can get stuck. Stuck on what we used to do. I used to be. My seat. I ain't going to forget. See, I helped put that, I helped lay that carpet down. We'll go someplace else and lay some more carpet. There comes a time when you have to let some stuff go. And, and listen, not only some stuff, sometimes you got to let some folks go. Some folks will keep you bound. Here you trying to progress. Chadwick, you know I, re I remember. I see, see I, re I remember years ago. No, baby. Years ago is gone. Yeah. You run into folk right now. You've been redeemed, you've been saved, and living for the Lord. And here come old Pookie talking about, yeah, I remember. I remember, you remember, you remember we used to hang out? Yeah, yeah, well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hang out no more, Pookie. I'm, 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 I'm a little man. Yeah, remember how we used to cut up the rug? Yeah, but, yeah well, I don't, I don't cut the rug no more, Pookie. I, you know, I'm, I'm living for Jesus. Yeah, remember how we used to have to down that thing? Yeah. And, and walk out of there, man, you know we were something. Yeah, but I don't, I don't do that no more, Pookie. I've been changed. Man, you remember how we used to chase the girls? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, one brother will keep it real. Oh, another brother is talking. Oh, I'm sorry. You ain't got that to you, do you? How many of you remember what you used to be like? How you used to act? How you used to carry on? And then even after you met the Lord, you still had a little something, something in your pocket. Come on, say amen and shame and tell Paul said, you sometimes were. All right. Amen. If it weren't for the grace of God, yes, some of us would be locked up behind bars, some of the stuff we've done did, yes. some of the places we've gone, and even some of the stuff we think now. Yes. Don't you dare forget who saved you. Don't you forget who brought you through. Don't you forget who has protected you, who has kept you in perfect peace. Yes.
she was stuck with who she was and what she did yesterday. And sometimes we can miss some blessings because of our unwillingness to move forward. So Jesus said, let's Let's, 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 let's go. Let's, let's go to the other side. You know, at some point um, in our lives, we need new challenges. You ever see married couples who's happy in love? Anybody married still happy? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I ain't too much energy when I said that. Oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm so happy, I just don't know what to do. Stick 
and wipe it across the pad, you're going to smell something. All right. And if you rub it hard enough, you're going to see something. All right. It's going to ignite. I'm trying to help somebody here. Because I, I used to think that, you know, just get happy, you're happy and married, and you'll live happily ever after. If anybody here found out some stuff about each other after you said I yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I know her hair was always <laughs> cute. It was always shiny. Every time you saw her, she had the foundation just right. Lips were talking your language. Her eyes were glistering. His muscles were always on top. In those days, he put the seat down. But friction, friction. Yes. is going to determine what you're really made out of. Yes. And I want you to know that as you prepare to merge, All right. it's really no such thing as a white picket fence. You know, you know, when you buy a home, it looks really nice until you get it. But at, at, at some point, you're going to have to go outside and do some tuck pointing. You're going to have some paint that's going to be peeling. You're going to have to scrape and repaint. Sometimes the little walls, the little nails start popping out on you. And you, you can only knock them in for so long. And you have to put some more wood on there and, 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 and do some priming and painting. And every once in a while, some pipes start to break and bust open, and, and you have a mess, and sewer backs up. Am I talking to anybody here? And there is no time to be going back in memory land to my. We didn't have these problems when we was on the 110th. Because if you is who you say you is and ain't who you say you ain't, you got problems now. But when you move into a larger barn, plumbing costs more. The challenges are greater. Yes, now, if, now, when you get time, go back and look at the text and read those next few verses because in between point A and point B, what did the brother say? Though the storm, a storm came. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and you just need to know, I don't care how much you pray. How many meals you miss, and how many bubbles you blow, you gonna have some storms. And they encountered a storm while at sea, in between point A and point B. Lightning start flashing, and thunder dogs start barking, and. Water start getting in the boat. And you don't mind the boat being in the water. But honey, when the boat start getting in the water and start getting up to your ankles and your knees, what you gonna do? I just get me a cup. Honey, you need more than a cup. 
There be somebody here. Now Jesus said, let us, which suggests that Jesus was with him. You feel me? He's with them and they're with him. Now Jesus on the mother's side, the mother's side of Jesus, he was tired. Y'all know dealing with colored folk can wear you out. Feeding folk who are hungry. Somebody with a limp to me, just, just touch me, just one touch, make me, make, 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 make me feel better, Rem. <laughs> Jesus healing, raising the dead. Now here comes somebody to me, well, you know, we out of wine. Oh, man, come on. Are you serious? I'm going to take us talking about, listen, here's a family, ain't got no money. Jesus said, okay, I'll tell you what, let's, let's get on this, get up. Talk, oh, hold on, hold on, Jesus, you about to put me out of business. <laughs> so now he says, let's go to the other side. They're in route along with some other loose ships. But somewhere between A and B, a storm comes. A storm that they didn't order. Anybody here going through a storm? About five of them. Anybody else here been through a storm? About 23 of you. For the rest of you ain't getting off that easy. You got one coming. Because in each life, some rain is going to fall. Here yeah, is the lightning and thunder doing cartwheels over the boat. Waves slapping this ship. Water getting in the boat. They can't drink that much water. And they had a quick board meeting. We need to do some trustees and deacons got together. Said, now you know what? Things was going well as long as we were one hundred and ten straight. But if we do now come out in this big old place, can't even see the ceiling. They got their traditions. We have ours. If they worship one way, we worship another way. Talk to me here together. And if they love Jesus and we love Jesus, we all ought to be able to get along. But I want to tell you, the storms will come. Have I got a witness? And so these deacons and trustees got together. Give, give, give me about seven minutes. I'm, I'm through with you. They had a meeting and said, we need to do something. We didn't have these kind of problems <laughs> until we got on board. Yeah. And so somebody in the group said, well, it's Hunt. I mean, it's, it's Jesus' fault. <laughs> Listen, it's Jesus' fault. Amen. 
we didn't have this problem until you got happy. As long as uh, we were back here, everything was fine. But now you done brought us out here to die. Yeah. All right. All right. Where's the Jesus? He said, well, you know, he's sick.
the friction that will take place, the accusations that will take place, the unkind words that will take place. I wish I could preach. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make some sense. And so he is going to need to be surrounded by people who trust him. And people he can trust. If I can't do you no good, Pastor, then I'm not going to do you no harm. If I can't say anything good about the move, keep it under your breath. If you're going, go. If you ain't going, shut up. Can I get away this chair? Don't be sitting around making trouble. Because God who has placed him is listening. Can I get away from this here? Touch not my Lord. Do my prophet no harm. And if you just walk with him, God will make ease and successful your way. He'll open doors that are closed in your face. He'll bring the highway down. He'll make the crooked way straight. Won't God do it? I said, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Make your enemies leave you alone. He'll put water in your feet. Right, man. 
good time as this. So can I say to you, let us go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. Doors of the church are open right now. We offer Christ to you. Transformation. Yes. 11 years. Congratulations. Yes. 
right now. As Pastor Rickford said, now you're coming over to the other side. Which we are celebrating 100 years. 100 years. Historic black got the church. So you are a part of that. You are a part of that. You know, you think Pastor Hunt is your pastor. But God sent you here. God is in control. God said, you will come to this small church. But there might be some doubt with those said, I didn't want to join no large church. But God said, you'll go with me. So I'm telling you right now, stay in God's hands. He will lead you all the way. You never know what God will do for you. So just stay with him and stay with us, transformation and liberty. We are here to love you. I'm just like a little kid on Christmas morning, ready to get my gifts. Can't wait to see what I'm going to get. So in January, I just can't wait till you guys come over to Liberty Baptist Church. Come on. As you said, come on. Come on. Come on. Once the selection committee is here, you know who you are. We thank God for you. All of the members that are here today, we thank God for your support. We have I love you, Transformations. We thank you for allowing me. We're going to talk to y'all a little more on next Sunday. And so at this time, we'll bring uh, Dr. Winfrey forward, uh, Sister Belair, Sister Mackins, um, the co chairs of our committee. Uh, they're downstairs preparing the dinner, so they're not upstairs now. They did a very fine job. Let us put our hands together for them. Thank God for each and every one of you. At this time, we'll bring Dr. Winfrey back. I already prayed over the food, so just go on right downstairs. We'll bring him back for parting words and our benediction. Thank you all, Pioneer, those of you all who came out today to God bless you. Thank you again, Pastor, and uh, what a what a fellowship. Good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity.